So this morning I noticed I had an error in my alerts for my one of my free NAS um, NASes, and it said that boot status, boot pull status is degraded. One or more devices had experienced blah blah blah. What this is, of course, is that one of your boot devices is now sad and dead, or it failed its checksum, etc. So really, I just wanted to go through and post a real quick video about how to fix this in FreeNAS 11.3. So if you look at here, I'm running 11.3 U 4.1, and this is one of my older NASes, so I'm still using USB drives for my boot. I wouldn't recommend using the boot drives as USB. Uh, SATA drive is much more um, efficient nowadays, and you can get easy like flash drives or SSDs that are stupid cheap for SATA. So if you have extra SATA ports, use that. If you don't, I guess you have to use USB. But anyway, USB flash drives are almost always unreliable, and they break a lot, so buy a lot of them if you, if you need to do it this way. So anyway... Enough about that, let's get to this. So boot pool status is degraded. Um, that basically means that one of your boot um, drives is degraded. This really only ends up happening, of course, if you have uh, your boot partition mirrored, which I do. So to find out which one it is, we can go to system and boot, and then go to actions over here and go to boot pool status. And from here, we can see that we have um, a problem here. It's a DA6P2. So we see that this one is degraded uh, DA6. So we can just go over here to these three little dots and say replace. And then it's going to give us an option for DA8. DA8 is the drive that I have already inserted in the machine. And you can actually see that by going down to storage and disks. And you can see I have an unused drive here that I'm going to replace it with. So we'll go back to system and boot and boot pool status and we'll go ahead and replace this drive with D8 Save. so then this is going to take a few moments to find the drive, analyze the drive and probably do a format you'll probably, if you have anything on the drive that you're using to replace it, you'll probably get an error here so you'll want to uh, hang out with this for just a bit and see if it's uh, going to ask you about, oh, do you want me to format this or whatever? So after waiting for a few minutes, um, you can see now that we've got uh, the resilvering FreeNAS boot has started, like you see here, and um, these devices are now replacing one another. It's worth noting that when you go to replace a drive, you don't have to necessarily worry about the size of your drive that you're replacing, but you do have to worry about the size of the actual partition, right? So if we were to look at stats and settings, you can see that this drive, the, the boot partition is 14.5. And this number is the number that you have to be within in order to replace a drive. So notice that if we look at the boot pool status and we see that DA8 is the one that's now online and the DA6 is degraded, if we were to look at the disks, you would notice that DA6 is 60 gigs, right? And this one is the DA7, which is still good in the boot partition. And you notice this is 14.61. The new drive that I added is 14.59, but the overall size of the partition is 14.5. So that way you can actually replace this with a drive like this. You don't have to necessarily worry about this size, but if you were to come up here with a drive that's like 14.4 or something just slightly under, then you would actually have to like either back up your config and reflash it to new memory, or you just need to get a bigger drive. There's not really a good way to get around that at this point, so it's just worth noting that if you're gonna do these mirroring things, you're gonna have to actually keep that particular thing happy and make sure the drive you're installing is the same as the partition size that you have available, or at least it's bigger than the partition size you have available. And also notice that there's only 6.75 gigabytes used, but 14.51 is a hard, or 14.50 is the hard limit, right? I had a 14.44 drive that did not work. So it's just worth noting that if you're gonna do the replacement, you need to make sure that your flash drive formats to at least enough space for the partition. And if for some reason you're not really sure, don't worry. FreeNAS will tell you. Look at this nice little error where it literally tells you, hey, this drive isn't big enough. Sorry. 
And so if you get that error, that's probably why you want to check your partition size and make sure that your drive is big enough. So that's really all I had. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave those below, and I'll talk to you guys later.